Apparently we're in Las Vegas. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Tropical dream. Tropical dream. Yeah, this is all about um, nostalgia and gangster by the looks of it. Good morning YouTube. So we're in Malaga today, just docked. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning so it's still a little dark. And as you can see in the background, the sun's just coming up. Um, yeah, had another great night last night. Um, went into 47, had a meal there, had the Angus beef and the Coupe Malaga, which was oh, absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. Um, kind of a rum and raisin con uh, concoction in ice cream with really soaked in rum raisins and all sources and think, oh, I'm feeling hungry just saying it. Uh, and then went up to the late night disco um, where, again, Lewis let me on the decks. Thank you very much, Lewis. Um, also, we saw the comedian, um, Ben, I forget his second name now, but ben Benjamin, Ben, uh, was really good. It was, it was slightly different. Uh, he sings some songs, tells some jokes. And it's just like kind of sitting in your front room with your mates, you know, just having a good time. He's a, he's a really good entertainer, well done. Um, so today is just going to be a walk around Malaga. Malaga? Yes, we are in Malaga. And um, yeah, just see what it has to offer. It's been about six or seven years since I've been here. Um, so it's going to be probably a whole new experience. Yeah, you don't get to see everything at every port you go into, so it looks like a pretty big town. So we're going to have a walk around and uh, yeah. Probably get some shoes today. I was really lucky yesterday and got the pink jacket, as you saw, and the white jacket. So the order of today is try and get some shoes. Right, rather than waffling, I'm going to get myself some breakfast. Um, going to get myself washed and changed properly because um, I'm in the t-shirt this morning. So probably put a shirt on to go around Malaga. I obviously, wake the wife up. Bless her, she was in the disco bopping away last night. And for a woman with fibromyalgia, she shouldn't shouldn't push her body that far but she does and enjoys dancing so suffers the next day that's life right um, I say gonna have a walk around today looking around the dock at the moment we've got uh, there's a German ship over there that seems to keep following us I have no idea what it's called and um, another German ship here which is a Tui one which I'm not gonna say in German but I think it's the new mine ship one my ship one, my schliff, whatever it's called. My German's rubbish. Right, rather than waffling, let's get sorted. Catch you later. Woke up then. <laughs> what, the next day? Yeah, yeah, not much after me. Did a little uh, video this morning of the, the sunrise, which is really nice, and then we're going for a walk into Malaga. And uh, what's it going to be today? Um, it's going to be 20 something, but at the moment it's kind of feeling a bit like 18 something. Yeah, 27. Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. And at home we've been told it's 10. Yeah, just at the moment there's a bit of a sea breeze, so it's a little. It's not chilly, but it's cool. But there was a sea breeze yesterday, wasn't there, when mm. we winked it, and it soon warmed up. Yeah. But 
it's much better at home, which is about eight to ten degrees at the moment, yep. or less. Yeah, I'd be wanting the heating on and the jumpers and the <laughs> jeans and the socks. If you're walking in a rowing boat, that's <laughs> by the sounds of some of it. Yeah, uh, yeah, very wet in some places, isn't it? Yeah. Right, the wind's getting up, so the quality is probably terrible in the video. So, um, see you in a minute. Zombie. I am, yeah. <laughs> Walking along and my phone made a noise so I thought I'd better check just to make sure it's nothing about Stacey Lulu. So, it seems this is a Viking cruise. Uh, never seen one of these before. I thought it was a German ship following us around when I saw it this morning, but no, it's Viking, the Viking Sky. Um, I'm surprised. Um, I didn't expect it to be so big to be honest. I thought Viking was quite a, a small concern, but... That's massive. Yeah, that's... It's well, that looks on. on par with what we're on. Oh, definitely, yeah. Well, let's, let's see if we can scan across. So, ours is over. No, we can't see it. But uh, no, ours is over there somewhere. Oh, you can, here. oh, there you go. So that's that's ours. That's Discovery Two. And then behind ours is Mineshaft. Yeah, and that one is the Viking. So if you yeah. sort of compare them, that's got. I'm going to try and count the decks. What you got? I see one port. So one, two, three, four, five, six, nine. Yeah, a bit. It's only there. So about the same, yeah, because we've got 11. Anything that hasn't got is the, um, well, what we call Deck 11, which is the Disco and Bar and everything. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. And then well, if you put that one on top of that one and stretch it a little bit, you've got the Mine Shaft ship. ship. <laughs> yeah. And they are massive, yeah. aren't they? Mine Shaft 2 we're, we're parked next to today, and that is, yeah, it's oh, big they're, old. They're absolutely, you, you would get lost on those easy. There you go, that's a Viking cruise and there's a, a galleon. Very nice. Right, onwards. Random building in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's good. The Humpty Centre. Yeah, with a seagull on top. Well, that was what a 15 minute walk in the ship. Yeah. And we're in the Escort of Malaga. Kind of trees. trees. <laughs> yeah. We'll go that we'll way. Go this way. <laughs> yeah. Not sure I trust a spanny with a hose. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So we walk past this stadium, it's a big stadium, and we have a feeling this is a bull fighting stadium. Just done a little Google of it, and uh, yeah. there you go. Nothing advertised on the outside, but uh, yeah, quite a pretty building and quite a 
strange thing goes on this side, but there you go. That's Malaga. shop we go into looking for shoes and if this is the way things are going to pan out for today there wasn't anything in there under 150 euros no. <laughs> this could be a very and interesting that was in the sale yeah this could be an interesting shopping trip it could be i've got a feeling this place ain't cheap <laughs> oh <well>, onwards <laughs> just as I am you've got to admit some of these buildings are stunning yeah and when you think of the effort that went into them, to yeah, build them. hundreds yeah. of years to build you just can't imagine that you know, generations of builders from one family to another yeah look at the bell tower I mean all the arches and things they're stunning yeah that is and the domed roofs because they wouldn't have had machinery when these things were built no they? all manual can you imagine getting all the stuff to where it needs to be yeah and the fact that it's still there hundreds of years later and looks as good as it does
headphones on the... <laughs> as soon as we sit down we have to catch up, don't we? Yeah, it's having a nice little break in the Old Town Irish pub. There you go. So, what do you reckon so far? Um, it's quite busy, quite big, not enough signs to tell you where you're going. <laughs> But we've got Google, we're but, okay. Um, it is very cosmopolitan. A bit chic. Yep, so yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. It's um, more for youngsters, I think, because there's a lot of walking. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, it's a nice place. Very clean, very tidy. Um, a little expensive. But hey, we're in Malaga. Right, drink. Here he comes. The old woman needs to sit down. <laughs> Las Vegas. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Tropical dream. Tropical dream. Yeah, this is all about um, nostalgia and gangsters by the looks of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pink jackets. No pink jackets. That's no. all right. I've got one smug mode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Mm -hmm. I think there's a fundamental flaw in the whole Spanish thing. Why? Well, in the UK, when we go shopping, I go looking for stuff and you end up with dresses. Yeah. We've come here, I've ended up with two jackets and now a pair of shoes. And I've had nothing. Exactly. Oh, so, I've had perfume. Uh, but then you've had off to shave as well. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so there seems to be a fundamental flaw in living in Spain. Well, well, I just think we'll stop looking for you now and start looking for me. On that note,
Hadi. Her şey daha iyi değil. Long. Long. <laughs> Hot. Yeah, I'm feeling it today. I've been pushing myself too much, so my fried row is gone. Boy, calm down. <laughs> but Malaga? Malaga's pretty, clean, green, lots of palm trees everywhere, expensive. Would we live here? We'll live here, but on the outskirts, maybe. Yeah, but that's only because we would prefer somewhere smaller. Yeah. Sparkle, you saw the sparkles. You're like a magpie. <laughs> With this dear? Only just. <laughs> Not long now. No, hopefully. Oh, nice and easy. Nice long drink when we get back on. <laughs> Definitely. I'm put my feet up somewhere cool. <laughs> put them in the swimming pool. We'll go <laughs> That's empty. We've got to have a jacuzzi. Yeah. Oh. No, the um, glass house is full now. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Checked it this morning. Oh, you can have a swim and I'm going in the jacuzzi because I'm not putting myself in a cold pool. <laughs> <laughs> I might put my feet in. Okay. Sit on the side. Oh, there's the ship. Not long now. Yeah. Here we go. Percy the penguin. Percy the penguin, very good job. There you go. He's the white one. Good evening. <laughs> <sighs> so where are 
We're off to 47. We did have a look in the glass house, but it looked like too much faff. So, um, yeah, 47 it looks like. Yeah. And uh, we're all dressed up again tonight. We've got a blue ensemble here. Yeah, so you're all blue tonight. Yes, and I'm... Um, it's all in... I'm the man from Havana. Yeah. <laughs> So, in his uh, new jacket. In my new jacket, yes. Yeah, uh, which goes in perfectly with these tracks. It does. Like there you go. And some new shoes. Hold on. New shoes. New shoes. Blue suede shoes. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, let's go and see what 47 has to offer. Showtime, dear. Well, nearly. Nearly showtime, yeah. yeah. Just We're gonna... waiting for cocktails. Yeah. So, cocktails and drinks yep. and the show. Yep. Cocktails and drinks and the show. That doesn't work, does it? We've eaten. So cocktails, cocktails and, and a show. show. That's it. That's, the, that's yeah. what we need, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Later. Have you shown them around? Oh, there's, there's our man. They've seen it before, but there you go. This is at a night time. Show them you working on my phone. Look. There you go. That's me working. <laughs> I'm going to get the man to. Ooh, hiya. Hello. <laughs> So, YouTube, here's the, the grim reality of the night we've faced tonight. So we've had a good cruise, to be fair, but tonight is Thursday night and um, it's the night before the big party, before we go home, so mm -hmm. Friday, obviously, Yeah. and um, there seems to be a deep clean going on of the, of the ship tomorrow, which means the disco... No, they've got an inspection tomorrow, well, so the deep clean's happening tonight. Yeah. So, fair enough, they've got to clean the ship, they've got inspection, blah, 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 yeah, we understand that. But, here's the problem. So, the disco has shut at one o'clock in the morning. When it's normally out until two. Yeah. Um, so lots or of people, later. So, lots of people were really upset, and it's, it's peeved us off a bit, to be honest. Yeah. Um, also, we went to the glass house, which is supposed to be serving meals till, I think, three in the morning. Mm-hmm. And that's closed as well, so... For deep cleaning. For deep cleaning. So we wanted to get ourselves a pizza or a slice of pizza and some chips, as, as you do when you've had a lot to drink. And we've had a bit to drink tonight, to be mm. fair. Yeah, yeah. The bar staff have been brilliant. No yeah, complaints fantastic. about the bar staff no. at all. So we've had to come out of the disco because they're starting to deep clean from one o'clock in the morning, mm. um, which I don't think really helps them because I'm sure we'll see them tomorrow morning as well at the poolside from probably nine ten o'clock in the morning so they're yeah. going to be up all night and back to work again pretty early in the morning mm. um we can't get any food there's no entertainment anywhere there's nothing going on no. and lots of people are for want of a better word pissed off to be honest yeah. now then morella cruises you have taken my money so my expectation is that all of your facilities i.e bars disco restaurants are available to the customer to the paying customer I understand you have to do these deep cleans and have inspections but the bars are closed at certain times that's when they should be cleaned yeah not taken away from the paying customer no no to be fair nobody really goes to bar 11 in the afternoon there was a few people there but you know a lot of deep cleaning went on uh, I think Coralar was being deep cleaned when we turned up tonight at about 11 o'clock. Yeah. Um, so obviously that happened. Um, so yeah, it was a bit, it's very disappointing because... It's not on is what it uh, is. It's, it's, it's well, not on. The problem we're finding is, I mean, we've done cruises for years. This is 22nd cruise. We started off on an old ship that's now been scrapped called the Island Escape. And that ship, you know, it was, it was a family. It was, it was entertaining, no matter what time of the day, yeah. and you didn't have these deep cleans. You didn't no. have things being shut down. You know, the disco was open till two in the morning, and you know everybody had a good time. Yeah, there was never disruptions. There was never people touting for business all the time. There was never mm -hmm. extras all the time, and it's just seeming that the whole Morella group now is becoming about the extras, money grabbing. Yeah, about selling stuff, about. You know, the customer care side has gone. Well, I wouldn't say it's gone because oh, I would. no, you've still got the bar staff which look after the customers really well. Yeah. You've got the entertainment team which do their best to make yeah. a great show for people. And even if you don't like it, they put their heart and soul into it. Yeah, they do. But mm. 
the management uh, and this is where it comes from yeah. and it's the same with all companies mm. I work for a big company I know how it works it's about money mm. and that's got to stop yeah it, it should be about making the customers happy yeah and right should. now you've got I would say what 300 and 400 people who were pretty, who were pretty piddled off tonight yeah. yeah just as we were leaving with the DJ a whole lift full of people arrived expecting to party yeah. and had to be told it was closed for cleaning I think my closing mm. note is remember Thomas Cook yes nobody's invulnerable nobody's bulletproof you've got to look after your customers Exactly. Well, mine over. Okay, so it's sleep time now because there's nothing else to do. Alright. Good night. Good night.